I had no idea that the pre-show was going to actually have stuff in it. I thought it was just going to be people talking. So I told everyone, see me at 4. It's 3.46. But yeah, Animal Crossing, I got my Animal Crossing hat. I got Pikachu ears just because I can. I got my Galactic Neck... Really? Is this really how we're going to be doing this? Pausing already. No Man's Get... Sky and Valorant. And the it's really is... funny to see Fall No Man's Sky Guys, with all this stuff, considering what... Finally, oh, I thought they said they were going to just the be two. This, of course, goes we missed Best Score and Best Action ever. Adventure. It's so. an award for fresh perspectives, new ideas, and distinguished bravery. All right. the I haven't even game are set up my Twitch stream yet. Mortal Shell. Uh, Creator Dash. Phasmophobia. Raji, an ancient epic. I want to play Raji. It looks really cool. Roki. And the winner is Phasmophobia. All right. I know nothing about it. That's fine. But good for them. And the Game Awards haven't even officially started yet. As the handy countdown timer says, this one I just don't understand. Where are they giving away, major so stuff? I'd like to take a moment to let you know about a few ways okay. you can interact. Okay, for some reason I'm... A special voting extension powered by Verizon, 5G, okay, there, I wanted to start up my my chat right above us. Edit stream info, come on. Or from one of hundreds of co-streams. Mega Drops will be activated for Fortnite and Among Us. Over the last I'm few games, just chatting. Are at the Game Awards Changing my channel. title. Watch the Game Awards with me. Thanks for your votes, and be um, sure to follow us on TikTok if you haven't yet to catch all our great gaming content. We polled Reddit and all our slash gaming community to see what their pick is for 2020's Game of the Year, and the winner is Ghost of Tsushima. As for the Game Award for Game of the Year, we obviously won't learn that until the end of the night. For now, we're about to take a super short break, but coming up on the other side, um, we've got winners for each of our esports awards. A Persona 5 well, I can't label 100%. More world premieres. Hey, <laughs> should, thanks, should I label the... Oh, wait, epic level characters. Should I label this permadeath since it's real life? <laughs> sure, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, today I am so excited to start a new chapter in this with the release of an entire more mist VR version that's oh wow the Oculus Quest platform. I remember that we game was just who purchases the, the shit back in the day Oculus home environment oh wow. I'm so thrilled for you to experience mission VR and thank you so much for your continued love and support oh that's nice looking there we go no yeah this is what everyone thought it looked like back in the day I just wish those hands didn't look, like, gummy. Is that the original island? I remember that building. Ooh. Interesting. Wait, Oculus is from Welcome Facebook? Really? Welcome back to really? the Game Awards oh. pre-show. For the first time Shit. ever, well, that I get sucks. to introduce a musical performance right here in the pre-show. Yay! I'm not sure there could be anything better to jump off with. Performing but you already... from the Persona 5 Striker soundtrack Ooh. from Tokyo, Japan, here is Lynn featuring the Persona Band. The Persona Band. Game Awards. Are you ready? Yeah. Curse when they played this at the Game Awards a few years ago, it had a completely different meaning. It's 
<laughs> I still haven't played Persona 5. I still haven't played Persona 4. I own it. I own Persona 4 for the uh, PS2, and I still haven't played it. I've, I've only played 3, and that's the PSP version, so... <laughs> you know, go figure, huh? And I love Persona 3. It was like, I, I could not put it down. Oh my god. Until I got to New Game Plus. Po the, the New Game Plus just failed me because your levels stay but no one else's do, so you have to basically nurse everyone up. I felt like I was surrounded by beginners and I don't know, it just wasn't as, as interesting. The gameplay kind of just destroyed itself at that point. <laughs> there we go. Took a second to get out there, huh? <laughs> also, I didn't even know I was buying Persona 3 because it came in a case for Persona 1. And I bought it when I was visiting Tacoma, so I couldn't very well take it back. Still, I'm very glad I purchased it. It's an incredible game. Update to 2010's Near Replicant, the prequel mm -hmm. to Near Automata. The actual title Automata, of the remake was like of course, another sick joke from director Yoko Taro. <laughs> but the Game Awards pre-show will never turn down a challenge. Tonight, I am both happy and unafraid to introduce the gameplay debut for Near Replicant version 1.22474487139. Okay then. Yeah. Taro is one of those people that just. You know what I mean? One time I was visiting my. Uh, my, my dad takes a ceramics class at the local community college, and I was visiting the ceramics lab there. And one of the students just made a whole bunch of Yoko Taro heads. And I, w I was like, what? And dad goes, yeah, that's all this guy's student makes. I'm like, really? Really? He's like, yeah, I got no idea what it is, but they're really neat. And I'm like, yeah, that's the game director who wears this as a mask all the time. <laughs> okay, I think everyone's just going to say version... 1.2, etc. And now I get to share with you another Game Awards first. The oh, yeah. world premiere of a new band. You heard me correctly. Okay. They're playing their debut single, Follow Unfollow. Please welcome, for the first time ever, OFK. Oh, it's a virtual band. Very early 2000s sounds. Mm. 
what's with palm trees aesthetic re recently? Like, for some reason, people add palm trees to a lot of, like, neon stuff. Where did the audience go? <laughs> Interactive series. Dot, wait, visit OFK.cool. Dot cool? We didn't even play the whole song. Unless the song really is that short. Who, despite everything, thrived and continued to entertain and inspire. Of the 30 different Game Awards categories, five are esports awards. We're about okay. to announce each winner, but I may need to call in some help to get through them all. We'll see. Here we go. For I best could probably do the game, announcing the nominees are Call of Duty like Modern this. Warfare, <laughs> Counter Strike Global Offensive, Fortnite, League of Legends, and Valorant. And the winner I have is never well no I played League like I played Fortnite very briefly and was very Our put off by the fact that it doesn't explain anything it just throws you Rusty, in and expects you to know how to play Rambo Zepha and Zonic and the winner okay. is Zonic <laughs> We don't know who these Our people are the nominees are Blast Premier Spring 2020 European Finals Right. Call of Duty League Championship 2020. No! Stop it! See, if I was actually announcing it, I wouldn't be getting this kind of bull bullshit going on. Why? Why are you doing this to me? This is not doing anything important yet. Yet. Saying I'm getting bitrate, I have 600 dropped frames. 720 dropped frames. I am Kadovi Say okay. 2020. Well, now I'm just hugely behind. And the winner is League of Legends World Championship 2020. Okay. I'm going to get... Best esports host. The nominees oh, are... For God's sake, Dash, really. Golden Boy, Machine, Shiver, really? and Shocks. And the winner is... Shocks. For Best Esports... Really? The nominees are... I was trying to close... The uh, G2 Esports. Trying to close the and this window, the big window. And the winner is G2 I wish there was Esports. just like a into the, the and now to announce the winner of best esports athlete into the um first like some sort of integrated ESPN refresh show, button. Stephen A's world, Stephen A. Smith. I know what y'all are thinking. Did they just bring Stephen A. Smith to the game awards in an effort? I don't have any idea who you are, sir. Okay, so I, because I have no idea who you are, I'm going to take this opportunity to reset the the thing. Um, I'm sorry about all this. Yeah, so I got no idea who you are, sir. So, I have no idea if your presence legitimizes it or not. Oh, wonderful, I get an ad. It's pausing during the ad! Oh my god, so ridiculous. Premiere before the main show begins. And okay. if you got something, we could all use a little more of. Dragons fighting dragons. Ooh. Here's Century, Age of Ashes. All right, sounds good, sounds good. Played a fun game on the PS. 
No, apparently I'm not watching the Game Awards. Apparently I'm not. Um, I don't even, I don't even remember the name of it, but you play as a dragon. Horde. That's what it was called. It's called Horde. And your goal is to build up as big of a treasure hoard as you can in the time limit, which is usually like 10 minutes. Go away. Everyone hates you, Verizon, and for good reason. I may actually have to move. I may have to go downstairs. But since this is live, I'm going to have to take my whole apparatus that, with me. It means I'm about to sign off and hand it over to Jeff. Look forward yeah, to it's already after the four. Better and the London Philharmonic Orchestra who will be playing the traditional Game of the Year medley as well as a special surprise. I love surprises. There will be world premieres from Fall Guys. Yeah. All right. I know I'm not three minutes behind. Hello, everyone around the world, and welcome to the Game Awards. Hello. Those are some uh, fascinating shoes you have there, sir. This year, of course, will be a little bit different. Uh, it's been a tough year for everyone, I know. And normally, with the holiday season, we'd all be gathering with our friends and family. And I know that can't happen for all of us. But tonight, we can gather here and connect around games. I wonder how far in advance this was filmed. Is tonight this live? Los Angeles, so whether you're watching Does he have right zips now, on China, his lapels? In, in Europe, America, my native Canada, wherever you are. Uh, even in India this year, all over the globe, we are coming together tonight okay. to celebrate our love of video games. Uh, now, to keep everyone safe tonight, nominees are going to be joining us live via Zoom from all over the world. Goodness, look at that. Hi, everybody. They're all joining us from their <laughs> Hello, everyone. Studios, China, Europe, Los Angeles, far and wide. And we will have all these guys joining us uh, tonight as we get through all the awards live in the show. Uh, we're going to be a country, also by some a continent, a guests, city. <laughs> Al Gadot, Brie Larson, Tom Holland, Christopher Nolan, John David Washington, the Swedish chef, Reggie, and more. <laughs> and we also have a very special performance by Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam, uh, cool. be in Seattle, and the London Philharmonic Orchestra from Abbey Road Studios in London, conducted by nice. Lord Falk. It is going to be nice, an nice. amazing show, and as always, we've got the awards, we've got first looks. That's a nice lineup they got there. All of the things that make the Game Awards special will be here. And what I love about this show is that the entire industry comes together tonight to celebrate games. Everyone is here. Or at least I thought everyone was here. It does sound like we're still expecting uh, someone else to arrive. Put this down now. Call me. Tell me, please. Okay, I was getting blasted back. Who could it? Okay. Give me someone good. Give me someone amazing. Give me someone who can vanquish. Someone who can cut the... They gotta put Hell's Gate! 
He's gonna have to stab me down. It's gonna be amazing. Holy shit! Oh, the planet's car! That said, please give my girl Tara a chance, please. There are other games in the series. Mario already got impaled once. <laughs> they couldn't do it again, huh? In my memories! about awards and to present our first award you probably know her as captain marvel she's an oscar-winning actor a filmmaker and a dedicated activist she's <laughs> now live on zoom <laughs> 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 I'm still, like, you my hands are shaking. My hands are freaking shaking. Laura Bailey as Abby, the last of us. Good for you. Good for you. Laura Bailey's a good actress. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so say uh, fuck you to everyone who sent you I, death threats. I was such a fan of the <laughs> Tell them to learn the difference the between fiction and reality. performances within it. Um... Tell them to stay where they belong in your memories! No surprise to me that uh, Abby's role within this story has been met with such uh, passionate responses. <laughs> but um, I am, to have been able to play I, such a fantastically challenging character who went through her story and able to play her to find forgiveness and empathy is something that I'll be eternally grateful for. Um, oh man, I told the team. <laughs> I mean, I, I saw Zelda and I thought for a second, Nympha, but except that everyone else was there too. More than anything was for my performance to well, we got someone who could vanquish, like I said. I'm not even, I'm not even um, paying attention. I'm sorry, Ms. Daly. I've just, and for I, you, all of the support you've been upstaged. I'm way. sorry. Um, to Patrick and Ian and Grace for <laughs> She's been upstaged by Toshiyuki Morikawa you saying a couple the, of lines. The story and Abby would not have been as impactful without you by my side. Um, to Troy. Who, <laughs> Did she just get attacked? Through our, I don't know, decades of working together in this industry, we've been, we've been allies, <laughs> we've been enemies, and we've been everything. Oh my between. god. Uh, 
and every single time oh my god with you, I come away better for it oh my shit for always having my back Maximilian so, dude is gonna be sure shrieking even really more so even longer than I am I yep she's getting cast to tech um, I think you should probably be giving the speech right now I think you're amazing and you're I don't know who she's talking to your vulnerability and your performance left me speechless I love you marry me Uh, I would love to do voices for games. Fans. Have you guys ever heard me? You know, in thank you for your support. Final your Fantasy in a nutshell. <laughs> oh god! Come on. To go on this journey with Abby and with me. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Congratulations, Laura. I think I heard eye messages coming in for people congratulating you as I was going on. It's uh. So great to have everyone here celebrating and amazing. <laughs> Texting my friend of mine, you are not gonna believe who the new Smash character is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, and another project I'm in, I just gotta notice lip sync complete. <clears throat> what? My browser isn't had an error while decoding the video. Page reopen. Come on. Everything's still got to have ads on it, doesn't it? <sighs> You're not going to believe where your character is. You are going to lose it. Problem is, um, he's still at work. He's still at work! Is this still an ad, or is this for part of the game? You know, the thing is about corporations, they're only as powerful as their, like, as far as, as, far as people make them. It seems like people never really consider they're still the ones with the power, especially the employees, because without employees, corporations are nothing. We need to know what they're hiding. So, people have to remember to use the power that they have. They're the cogs of the machine, and if the cogs don't work, the machine doesn't run. And a lot of bosses will put considerable energy into preventing people from realizing that, but Really, it should just come naturally to people to know they have all this power. I just don't get it. Ultra Tech! Is that an end, like a quotation at the end, or like what? There you go, perfect dark from the initiative Xbox. Very excited to have. <sighs> Come on! I am so grateful that I didn't actually have this problem during the Smash reveal. That was really the only thing I cared about. I know Animal Crossing is up for Game of the Year. Honestly, something it really shouldn't right, well, be. 
I love Animal Crossing. I've played it more than any other game this year. But it really shouldn't be up for game of the year. It really shouldn't. <clears throat> Everything's got to have eyeballs, right? <clears throat> I'm innocent, I have a skin condition! So it's just worms this time, huh? I have a feeling that guy has been waiting his entire life to throw a Molotov. <laughs> Multiple arms? Worms aren't going to be doing that. Cool song. It's multiple worms. Oh, hello, Unlock Kokoro. Bonjour. You missed the smash reveal. Oh my god, you missed the smash reveal. The smash reveal was freaking transcendent. It was a character I had actually said before that I didn't want just because of the game he's from. You don't care much about Smash. But, um... Yeah, the the thing is, is that because the game he's from is actually very poorly represented in Smash, it already has a character, and there are multiple other games in the series. <laughs> and I would much have, rather have a character from the previous game. And I was also thinking, because they treated the character who is in very badly, and it, 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 it's Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. They, um, they, they just flat out put the one-winged angel in Smash. And his, his video was just, I, I said transcendent before, but I was screaming, I was screaming, but it's like they're going to have to treat him better than they treated Cloud, because Cloud has two gameplay tracks, and like, his only spirit is himself. And, well, no, he doesn't get any spirits. His only... Um, his only... Well, kind of spirit. But you don't... Not the kind you fight, just the kind you get in the gallery. <sighs> the, blah. I'm just... I'm so overwhelmed that I'm just... Yeah. Ah, oh, is everything on me, first person? What you need on Twitch for me to be able to donate a few bits. I don't have any bits, um, because I can never get five people talking in chat. So I can't go up the, to the rank where I get any of that. Also, I've been having this problem. I've been having this problem all the time, where it just stops. <clears throat> hey, if you, you know anyone that you want to drop into chat... <laughs> Oh, goodness golly. <clears throat> Come on! Stop it! I have to keep re-adding the source. <sighs> this is what I have to keep doing. It's a good thing I don't really have any interest in first-person shooters, or I'd be really pissed right now. Yeah, like, I barely have an interest in shooters, but 
first-person games in general are just a big no for me. Like, I played Skyrim in third person. <clears throat> I like the music they use during the... You have a general people in the chat PM me. Okay. All right. Go. Oh, go for it. Go for it. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't don't feel any obligation. I'm just glad you dropped in. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but you're the only person in chat. I think. Oh my God. Really? Is this? Oh. I open this up and it says your browser encountered an error while decoding the video. Error 3000. Uh, does it show like that for you? Does it show that for you? I need to know. I need to know right now, please tell me. Does it show any video whatsoever for you? Are you here still? Okay, it says Petra Novinska is in chat as well. Okay, well, can you see any sort of video whatsoever? Because in my stream preview, I'm getting your browser encountered an error while decoding the video. And in my, that does not show up. It showed up earlier for me. Um, in my, in my recording software. But it did not, like, it still says that I'm streaming. I can see your face, your name, and chat. The rest is black. Okay, can you see anything right now? Because I, I had taken that away. Because it wasn't working. Okay, I'm just going to refresh my stream manager. I'm going to see if that changes anything. I don't know if it actually will. Okay. Well, I'm glad something's working. Okay, can you see anything now? Even though it's not running... Hello? Can, can you see anything whatsoever? There should be a guy on the screen. Okay. Sign up for free, and we'll see you in the game. I don't even know what game it was. Okay, what is this? Okay, now there's like knights and stuff. Yeah, I'm behind on stream too. That's the entire problem. It paused, and it, it won't come back. Steal the vault key, pickpocket the sheriff. Okay. Okay, is there more to this? I guess not. Okay, good. Can you, can, can you hear it when it's actually running? Okay. I really hope this doesn't mess up my actual video. That's awfully bloody for a Robin Hood game. Come on. It doesn't look very good at all. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you came. Goose, 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 goose. Geese, 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 geese. <laughs> okay. I'm just I'm just glad someone was here and could help me out with some stuff. Thank you. I don't like this music. It's very wet. 
Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> I want to play that. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> you thought you could get rid of me, but you can't. Anyways, I don't know if anybody thought that. Teamed up for six new AR effects you can share. Instinctively go to. Close the ad. Instead, it's you can in, transport yourself built in. into Final Fantasy VII's train station, transform into the Doom Slayer, don the mask of the Ghost of Tsushima. You know, it'd be nice if you actually showed us doing those, showed Please. someone doing those things. Oh my gosh! This is gonna ruin everything. Oh my god. Is it even worth it for me to continue? No, seriously, is it worth it? We already got the only thing I was really interested in out of the way. Silverhand himself will be joining us to present the Best Direction Awards, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but welcome back. Now, coming up next, we're going to present the Best Ongoing Game Award. The Quidditch community thinks Fortnite is going to win that with 47% of the vote. Come on! I think uh, let's I... find out if the Twitch community is right. Uh, we are going to present the best I think I'm just going to stop the stream. Five outstanding titles that continue to deliver I'm going to stop because this is the nominees. dropped 3,480 so frames. Here I go. If I'm going to have to keep checking back so much. I don't know why my reception is so bad. I'm in my room. All right, well, now it's time to reveal the winner. The nominees are joining us here. Hi, guys. Okay, I don't uh, know how to go. make this smaller. Uh, the, is, the Game Award goes to No Man's Sky. Really? That's really funny, just considering just a few years ago how how off that game was, you know? It's normally Twitch is right, Jeff. It's normally Fortnite. It's always Fortnite uh, I like the hello uh, behind so him. Um, we're really lucky, okay, you know, see, to to on my today, stream, it, sh it was showing, well, like, a really bad image quality, but on my recording software, it was crisp. Easy, uh, so but then it's a few seconds like behind. This. I specifically tell this thing, don't have any slowdown. You know, don't have all of this Thanks. lag. And it's up late, it, the server is somewhere in Portland, so it's not traveling very far. Now, every year leading uh, into the show, there's always a lot of speculation, a lot of games that you might be anticipating, but there are always a few you're not expecting. Like this one, mm. check out this world premiere. Okay. All right. All right. So, in the back of the neck. I can't understand you. I am just 
supremely disinterested in this kind of stuff. Yeah, I just, I don't know, survival horror is another genre that just doesn't get me. I'm assuming that's what that is. Okay. I don't know, it just looks too desolate for me. I'm too dark. Put some lighting in the game. I don't care if it's a horror game. You can have horror in a fully lit awesome environment. Dead Space vibes, and there's little wonder why. You know him from his work on Dead Space and Call of Duty. Here's the CEO of Striking Distance Studios, Glenn Schofield. Hey, Glenn. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Well, the Crystal Protocol has been in development for uh, over a year and a half with a team of well over 100 people on it. It's a single-player, third-person, story-driven survival horror game set in the year 2320 on Jupiter's moon of Callisto. Our goal is to make the single most scariest game for PC and consoles, and we're so excited to be able to show it here tonight. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, Glenn. We're looking forward to hearing more about that next year. All right. Announced back in July, Warhammer 40K Dark Tide is a four-player co-op game from Fat Shark the developers behind Warhammer Vermintide 2. Well, tonight, they're sharing a first look at the gameplay. Check this out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, it all just looks so painfully generic to me. There's so many games just like this. So, I just don't really understand. And I do not get the appeal of first person. It's never going to put you in the character's actual role until you can see more than just this. You gotta be able to widen the view at least here. Cover all your peripheral. And you really can't do that without any without stuff like VR and everything like that. To recognize some other winners in the category of best art direction. Oh? The nominees are Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and The Last of Us Part II. Hmm. To I'm gonna guess Hades. Ghost of Tsushima. Really? The sucker punch. Okay. The best Wait, game I thought we already had best action adventure. Eternal, Hades, Half Life Alex, Neo 2, and Streets of Rage 4. Oh, really? And huh. the winner is Hades. Congratulations, oh, Super Giant. In the category of best VR AR, the nominees are Dreams, Half Life right. Alex. Iron Dreams Man was VR, a game? I thought it was like a create your own game Saints program. And, and the game award goes to Half Life Alex. <laughs> now, maybe learn how to count to three. For best sports racing game, those nominees are Dirt 5, F1 2020, FIFA 21, NBA 2K okay. 21, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Odd thing to and combine sports to and racing. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Congratulations. Okay, most anticipated most game. Anticipated game <laughs> well, Cyberpunk, but it just came out. Elden Ring. There I said it. Didn't have, has not come. Halo yeah. Infinite, Horizon Forbidden West. Resident really? Evil Village and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. Are we going to get and something on that? The anticipated this game is Elden Ring. Congratulations. Yeah, probably. This next not Cyberpunk, really? The Fulbright Company and Annapurna Interactive present one part road trip, 
one part mystery with two familiar voices. Check it out. Familiar voices I hear, huh? Annapurna is one of those studios that I always hear about and I never have like a clear idea of what it is they My name is Testavine. Make the world is that passing me by. I guess as I get a little older. I've heard the name Testavine before. Things. Where have I heard that name? They decline and go away. Sound like that's how it was with my grandma. I loved her so much. I thought I knew her better than anyone. But looking through her old things, we found but it's got to be an original character. The man who wasn't my grandfather. The burglary ring. Some sort of lost fortune. We can't ask her about these things anymore, so we have to go looking for the answers ourselves. Cool, cool. My mom and I are out on the road, searching. <laughs> I don't know what we'll find. But Mother daughter investigative I pair. I know cool. We'll find it. Harry Russell and Caitlin Dever. I have never heard of Caitlin Dever. Sorry. All right, once again, give us, we're excited to share show us all the gameplay. People around the world who are making a positive impact on the gaming community. These are our global gaming citizens in partnership with Facebook Gaming. Our first honoree In partnership with Facebook, really? Gaming. Check out this Come important on. story. Don't say Latin X. Just say Latino. I felt quite invisible. Actual I Latinos don't say Latin X. I felt alone. I was often the only woman and the only Latino woman in the room. I think Why would you feel alone because of that? To get where I am today. I don't that's got um, nothing to do with anyone to go through that anymore. Being alone. And welcome to Latin X and Gaming. Our content, our voices. Latin X and Gaming. Then maybe use a term that other Latinos don't like. Other people of Latinx descent in the gaming space. The past three years, we've just grown from a really small group into thousands. This was no longer like it's basically just, just Americans that use this that is about term. Streamers and students and journalists and marketing and fans. Paved the way for people it's like just, me. I hate the, the idea that minorities no just doing, like doing things that everyone else does it, is somehow remarkable i mean i'm autistic <laughs> and i'm genderqueer and none of these things make my content remarkable none of these things impact my content and i shouldn't be treated like like it should just be seen as Oh, that's cool. Such a huge way. Just the Helping same as literally anybody else. And it's kind of the world. demeaning to, this, we've up with to act like people just the doing the things that everyone else does is somehow special. I mean, I get that all the time being Together disabled. You know, it's like, oh, someone who's mildly autistic, like not even... Not even severely autistic, but mildly autistic, is doing something like this, and it's like something thousands of people do every single day. Yeah. It's always something mundane, or even when it's special, like swimming with Channel or something. Then there's like, and it just kind of seems like it holds actual diversity back. To make a big deal about people doing everyday things. Like, it, it stands in the way of equality. Because you're not treating people equally. See, to me, Doom stands out more than other gory shooters because it's so over the top. Yeah, and it was it was the one that started it all. Wait, didn't, didn't today, it just come out for Switch? A special event happening right now in Pokemon Go. Well, now's the time to bring out your phones and start catching because we're officially on oh. a Whooper Watch, and they are so cute. Okay. We partnered with our friends at Pokemon Go to keep an eye 
I mean, that is cute. What an odd thing to have. Why whoopers? You got overshadowed by whoopers. I don't care what you are. I've heard this is like really good. With a unique skill system at your disposal. Carve your own path across an award-winning open world. Bam! Uncover even more in this groundbreaking role-playing game. Meet mm. and get to know more of the locals. Welcome to reality. Oh my god, I was just thinking. Hasn't been acting up lately. If you could only find your guy. It's okay. Okay, now it's back to Chris. Acting for every single one of the city's beautiful people. Alright. Um, yes, I'm going to unplug the microphone, okay? And leave a bigger <laughs> mark behind you in new quests. You're big boys, you can handle it. <laughs> Whirling in rags? Is that what that says? Enjoy the definitive edition of this hit RPG. Disco Elysium. The final right. cut. A free upgrade for all players. That's weird. It started with PS5 and PS4, and then brought in all the other ways you can play it. But that's really strange. Okay, when you do sudden cuts like that, it makes me think that my stream is cutting. So exciting, Disco Elysium news. You may remember last year, they were, I think, the one the most awards out of any game last year at the Game Awards. So, awesome news. All right. Well, now we're going to talk about BioWare's Dragon Age franchise. It is known for its story and its characters. Oh, are we getting another one? BioWare wanted to give you a little sneak preview of what to expect in the next game and where it will take us. Interesting. Yeah. Ignore this logo. <laughs> it's time for a new Dinosaurs. No magic hand. No ancient prophecy. We just gotta do it. The kind of person they'll never see coming. We've got your back. I've oh, yeah. got your back. Well, that's filling me with confidence. Dark spawn. <laughs> Even the dread wolf. Okay. Oh, I know that guy. This is your story. I haven't played Dragon Age, but everyone talks about him. It's just called Dragon Age. There's no subtitle. Alright, we're back and I'm... I'm trapped in our set now. I don't know what's going on. All right, well, next okay. we'll have a look at an exciting new tactical squad-based roguelite game set in the Endless Universe. Here is another new game announcement. Endless Universe? I can do both. The Kenku.
And uh, the presentation.